Hey, Pandey here. In this video, we will learn selection sort. Selection sort is the most basic of the sorting algorithms. So let's get started. When thinking about computer algorithms, many times it is useful to leave the world of data structures and computers behind and think what you would do if an analogous problem in the real world were presented to you. So let's say there were n students standing in a line and you wanted to arrange them in the order of their heights with the shortest student at the front and the tallest one at the back. A very intuitive thing to do would be to first pick up the shortest student and bring him or her to the front of the queue. Now you already have made some progress. Next, you pick up the next shortest student and bring him or her just behind the shortest student. So now you have two students which are at their correct places. You keep on repeating this process till the last student and you have arranged the students in the order of their heights. Hello, you have just discovered selection sort. At each step, you have a part of the queue which is already sorted and you then select the shortest student in the remaining queue and that is why it is called selection sort. Now coming back to the world of data structures and algorithms, we do a very similar process with the arrays. At each step, one part of the array is sorted. You select the smallest element in the remaining part and then put it at the beginning of the remaining part. There is one small detail though and this is where computer world diverges a little from the real world. At each step, all that we want is to bring the next smallest element at its correct place. We can do better than shifting all of the intermediate elements by one place. We can just swap the smallest element with the element where we want to put the smallest element. That way, a lot of movement of the elements is avoided. We keep on repeatedly bringing the smallest element from the remaining list to the appropriate place and when we reach the end of the array, we are done. All right. Now that we know the algorithm for the selection sort, let's write the code for it. Let's work with a concrete example and have an array of size 7. We will go over each slot of the array, putting the correct element in the slot. So there is a loop going from 0 to n minus 1, i equal to 0 to i equal to n minus 1. To begin with, let's fix i equal to 0. We will have another variable j which will which we will iterate from i to n minus 1. In yet another variable called j min, we store the index of the smallest value we have encountered thus far. As we scan the array, if we encounter a smaller element, we update j min. So let's see with example. We initialize j min with 0 since to begin with 23 is the only element we have seen and so it is also the smallest element that we have seen. We increment j to 1. Is 25 smaller than 23? No. So we do nothing and increment j to 2. Is 19 smaller than 23? Yes. So we update j min to 2 since 19 resides at index 2. We then increment j to 3. Is 28 smaller than 19? No. Increment j to 4. Is 14 smaller than 19? Yes. So update j min to 4. For j equal to 5 and j equal to 6, we don't find any smaller elements. So we know that element at index 4 is the smallest element. We swap it with the element at the 0th location. These three lines of the code swap the elements at location i and location j min. As an aside, do you think we can do a swap without the temporary variable? Mention it in the comment and let me know what you think. Okay, now that uh, we have got the first element correct, we increment i to 1 and iterate j from 2 to 6. This time we find j min to be 5 because 17 is the smallest element in the remaining array. We swap 17 with the element at the index 1. We keep on incrementing i and finding the smallest element from the ith element onwards and swap it with the element at the ith location. When i reaches 6, the array is sorted. Great. So this was selection sort. Now let's have a look at the time complexity of the selection sort. 
time complexity of selection sort is fairly easy to determine. Looking at the code, it is clear that if that this if statement lies inside the double loop, so it will execute the most number of times and thus that will determine the complexity of the algorithm. Now for, for i equal to 0, j goes from 0 to n minus 1. So it takes a total of n values. So for i equal to 0, the if statements executes n times. For i equal to 1, j varies from 1 to n minus 1 giving rise to n minus 1 executions. We go on like this till we reach i equal to n minus 1 when there is just one execution of if statement. We sum up all the elements that we found out, all these numbers that we found out. It is n n minus 1 by 2 which is order n square expression. Thus the complexity of selection sort is order n squared. So this was selection sort. See you later with more, more algorithms. Till then, goodbye.